image before birth, I was predicted. Uh -huh. Hey, what's before going on, you guys? Hey, was Welcome to Tuesday Stream. So I'm earth, here I with uh -huh. Mr. John Nye, Mr. 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 So, uh, I'm glad you guys are here with me in the building, hey, man. We got only points in the building, hey, What up with you? What's happening? So, um, we brought him in on today, you know, just to interview him. I know he got some good things in store for us, hey, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So, uh, let's go ahead and go into it. Well, good question. Um, basically, um, I was in a I was in a grocery store and I had a friend by the name of uh, I don't know how good this name is on the gospel side, but his name was unique and it was called Satori K. And um, knowing that his name was Satori K, I guess he read about the dude, but. I had to actually think about it. I said, what am I on here in this world to do? I was prophesied to be for birth. Uh, my mom didn't even know she was going to have a son. And um, the prophet told him she was gonna be, he was going to be a great man among his time. He was going to be a prophet of God. And ever since a young age, I always wanted to find my purpose because I was seeing demonics, demons, and spirits. Even at the early age of five years old, I seen a death angel. And um, the honest part about it is I know that I am on a mission. I am on the quest. And so I slanged it out. Uh, as we do in the hood, we slang things out, you know, like E-40, one of my rappers do. Uh, and I've just put on the quest instead of on the quest. And uh, I have a whole slogan that goes, I'm on the quest to deliver the good news and message of Christ is coming and his resurrection. Okay, so on the, on the quest. On the quest. On the quest. Amen. 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 On the quest. Do your own the quest. Do your own the quest. You know, be all on the quest. What is your quest? What's your purpose? Okay, okay. Well, it's a kind of thing, like I said from the beginning, I was birthed into this world. Unknowing of what it was before I was even on earth, but then. Um, in a future tense, God would give me dreams about the earth and how my face would blow up on different sides of the earth. Where I do music, uh, my first love is acting, and I make my own beats and I beatbox. And so God had showed me the world, and He showed me show show me being shot down through outer space to the earth and hitting the water of the earth, and then all my faces showed up for different scenes of my life. Uh, almost missed that purpose, almost missed that mission, and it would have messed up. Uh, even creation because I believe that I was sent down here for a specific purpose and I believe that I have something to do with even a rapture the ushering in of the rapture the mission because even around these times like I said um, I believe that before birth being prophesied about that I was shot down now, I kind of have some memories it's kind of sounding weird but a lot of people won't recognize what you recognize and that's why in my mind and in my heart I have to stick by what I believe because they can take my word, but they can't take my eye and my identity. And that's one thing that we have to remember. That's real. Because your true identity is in Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, even to today, um, I deal with a lot of things. I deal with a lot of things. I'm not perfect. Uh, the power is in the tongue. Some people don't recognize that the power is not the tongue, but it's in, in the tongue, which is your word. And ever since the beginning, when I was brought up into the hood, I dealt with people that did not want to respect the love that was in me. And um, I got bullied at an early age, till about 10 or 15 or so, till I started fighting back. I didn't get bullied because I couldn't fight. I even did a little self-defense, but I wasn't taught to hate. I wasn't taught to fight. My parents taught me to love, and I didn't want to bring that fire back to my parents' house. Um, because people would get their whole generation or their whole family for your family on my block. I'm from Compton, right down the street, right by Centennial, born and raised. And uh, it wasn't until I started fighting back, though, that I started finding out it's not all in the fist. It's more into a word because I defeated more people with my word, per se, than the fist. Because I started bullying people after I started fighting and beating up bullies. And so what God has told me was that, yeah, sure, you go through situations, but it's to make you stronger. Even when it seems like you're left alone and nobody respects you. Love is what the world is missing, even so now. Technology took over after the Y2K scare. 
um, they said the computers was going to shut down and the road going in. But what happened was the computers turned on and the road ended. We don't have kids playing outside like we used to. We don't have uh, street lights coming on and people was getting scared to get whooped. If they go in the house, matter of fact, we'll get whooped by the police before anything. And so that's why I don't believe everything I hear and see. Because God said walk by faith and not by sight. So bullying was one thing. Like, it's about three things. Uh, I overcame that. And to this day, you still have like anxiety and insecurities. But number two is uh, basically uh, insecurity about my physicalness. Um, I always been able to be expressive of how I felt, but at one point in my life, I had an identity crisis. And it, it comes to the point where even your sex, uh, you, you come into a situation where you don't know yourself. It's not that I was trying to experiment with men or trying to be on another side or trying to be this, but I just didn't know me. So, being that I was trying to be like everybody else, I did have thoughts of doing other things. And uh, I was curious, as they would say. Uh, things happened where it just kind of messed me up. Uh, family bloodline, lineage, and everything like that. We kind of went through situations where, you know, I just, I, I didn't know who to be. I was trying to be like people in my family, be like people out in the world. And I really didn't know me until I started really focusing in the inside to the inner person. Because sometimes your mind, which can be silenced, can be louder than anything you talk about. Um, just so now, I, feel, I believe that it's a lot of frequencies in the atmosphere. And if you allow what's around you to enter in what's inside you, then actually you're a part of the system, not against it. And so right now, I feel like that was another thing that I dealt with, identity crisis. Um, um, not knowing who I was even sexually compatible, compatible with. Uh, and another thing is basically... Um, just the love of myself. Uh, God works on me daily, but it's, it's a moment of time of realizing that it's not your mind, it's not your brain, it's not your word, it's not your talents or your gifts. Because if it was up to me, I would only get benefit for myself because I don't see for the I don't see past this realm. So when people say, you know, oh, coronavirus, I don't really want to talk too much about it right now. I know that's a question, but uh, coronavirus, this and that. I say, well, y'all so quick to say God is coming back when times like this happen already. I said, we as Christians would not be scared. We would be at bay of, 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 of scared and fear. We would be more at peace because we'll have, we have connection to the master. He's an on time God. He's a live God. Even when he, you feel like he's not there, he's there. So I don't believe that God is just going to come back from a coronavirus. I feel like the coronavirus don't make my God come back. I believe God picks and chooses. He just said, look at the signs and people looking at FEMA camp and this and that. Still looking at fear, not looking at the signs on the street that say, confused, come to God. Those are the signs he said, look for. Not the ones that's on the street saying, FEMA camp coming soon or all these old other signs. To, you, you basically say, fear is why God is coming back. And that's not why. Sure, them signs point you to the end, but when us as humans come to the end of ourselves, then we'll see who he is. So it may not necessarily be the rapture as we picture it because nobody has the picture together. You have a different picture, she have a different eye. But God's point is to have love in the earth. And that's what we miss after the Y2K because technology took off. Now it's media, M-E, media. It's me, all about me. Eyewitness news, one person, iPhone. You know, all these old other things and we don't have no love. The more closer you get to your neighbors, you don't even know them nowadays. It's when you go out to social media that you that you preach it. But what about your neighborhood? What about your family? Nobody else take goes to church with you. But you can talk, show 2,000 people, the same people, every day about God that's across the world that really don't even know English. So that just tells me right there, in order to get to plan two, you still have to deal with plan A because plan A is going to be right there even when you get there. It's just going to come in another form until you get that level. And that's what I found out. So I hope I answered it. I have a lot of other things on my muscles. Excuse me. You, you know, I'm just kind of passionate about it because it kind of hurts me to be able to, to, to be alive and not be alive with people. You know, it's like people right now got on, got on masks and gloves. You can't even touch, hold, or kiss. What did that tell me? You can't love. It's more separation. First it was skin, poor skin, and now it's skin, too skin. It's more separation. You can't stand by somebody. You can't talk to nobody without a mask. You can't go in people's houses and gather. What are you telling me? You're separate. And that's what the government wants you to do. Divide and conquer. That's what they do. So does the enemy. The matter of fact, they even say this, if I could say. Uh, divided we fall, 
Oh, no, no. United we stand, divided we fall. We the United States. Why are we not helping out China? Why, why are we closing down borders as soon as this 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 crack of a president comes in the White House? Yes, I'm saying that because I'm not I'm not nervous. I'm bold. Um, why does he come in the White House and the first thing he do is shut down the borders? I mean, that's the best thing he could have did in his whole career. He got that accomplished. But what is that doing for, as far as United States? We were gaining states. Now we're losing. Nobody wants us to come in that country. Let alone a state. You go to Florida right now, and it's none against Florida, all shot outs, but you feel a certain way coming from L.A. and Compton. Why is it? Because the way we are put out on the media. You know, we need to take back our neighborhoods, take back our houses, take back our front yard, take back our galaxy, take back our existence before this 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 devil, this 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 demon takes over. Yeah, that was one of the messages I made. He's trying to get your attention through the deep sea. Just be like Peter and Roman, what they said was see. And you also help for me. Well, as I would say, I wouldn't call them fights because I believe to fight it would have to be two. But I feel like God was trying to reach me. Like I said in another interview, uh, it's not until you close your eyes that you finally realize that God does not just talk through ear. People are looking for God to tell him a word. And he said, my word is written already. It's written on, on, on. he even had, uh, he even had uh, uh, um, Moses go up, you know, you know, and write the Ten Commandments, right? So that just tells me right there, he writes stuff down, which we need to do as people because people will take your ideas in the spiritual that you don't even know. So write it down, even if it's a budget, write it down. He's, he wrote his word down. His foundation is the word. And so what God has told me is I talk to you. He said, but I talk to you in ways where I talked a while ago. It's still the same way right now. He said that when I talk to you, you'll know sometimes it might be a touch. Sometimes it might be a vibration. Sometimes it might be a glitch in the system of life. But you will find out. And through the mental institution, I've been a 45. I had to get the uh, merry-go-round to finally find out that this this world is not a roller coaster and it's not, neither fun. He said, the only thing about life is I am life. And when I started focusing more on him this time around at the 45 mental institutions, oh uh, yeah, at 11, 11 year period, it felt like 11 months. It was 11 years I've been in a mental institution back and forth. The next time, if God forbid I go, will be five years and it'll be locked down. And I believe that this is my mission, but God said, in order for you to see your perfect time and like everything matches my, my ministry right now that's happening in the world, but I have to see my way through it. Like, how can you take a path and it's not your path? How can you walk through to see another realm and it's not your path to even walk? If I can't, if I'm, if not, if I'm not supposed to walk across the street right now, I could get killed. If I'm not supposed to. But God has made it where I'm able to walk in my realm. And right now, this is everything I talk about in my music since back then. That's happening right now. But I thank God because he gave me an out. And I believe, like, it's not a fight because... I was, I, it's the fight ain't fair. I, I was not able to win this one. You know, God told me, if you mess up, and especially when you messing with my kids, see my parents is his kids. And when I'm, and you gotta remember kids, as, as your parents love you, they're growing, but they're going to love you at the same time. And so you have to respect them as your parents, not just because they treat you a certain way, but to respect them because they're God's kid too. And if they totally on God's point, God would not treat you as if you their kids. You're their kids. But they're God's kids, so He would treat you as if you're messing with His family or His kids, and you would take the you would take the beat, you would take the book. And He told me up, man. He kept me up in there, and I always had my dad in my life. My dad kept me in that institution, and He saved my life through it. I'm able to have a testimony. I'm able to be a testament and a living testimony of it. Not saying I'm perfect, but now I'm able to see who God is. It's more relationship than religion. All, right? All shouts out to my mom because there was times that she would cry for six days straight, and nobody would be six days straight, no, 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 no sleep, because she wanted me to come out. And I hurt her so bad that it, it became mental too physical. But I praise God because I never. I'm not saying put my hands. Up. I'm saying she had gotten physical situations that happened because of stress. But now I can reverse the curse even on my on my dimension. So I praise God for family, my brother, and my sister for uh, visiting me, and everybody else, even them, uh, the enemies, man, the ones I call enemies. Because you gotta love your enemy. I usually say this. I say, 
I don't want you to just treat me like I'm your friend if you love me and you don't love nobody else. I say, I know who you are by how you treat your enemies. If you talk bad about your enemies and you leave them alone, what makes you think you can't do the same thing to me when I make you mad? You know, you're supposed to love thy enemies. When God went to the cross, when Jesus went to the cross, God's only begotten son, he said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. He didn't curse them. He didn't say, your angels, come get them. Even when they did them wrong, he said, I take my life. You didn't take it. I gave it to you. So in the instance, we have to realize that everything is on a reverse for us. Even them separating us or putting us through all this old hill. We have to reverse it and say, I love you, regardless if the female camps come. I love you. Because y'all just people anyways, and y'all need love. So, I, I, yeah, we all need love. And see, that's what they're going to always be losing out on. Even if they kill us off, you can kill my flesh, but you can't kill the love in my heart or my word. Literally, if I can live in my word, I'll be just like Jesus, who lived forever. His father, matter of fact, was the word, right? He said, in the beginning, he said, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. So he said, in the beginning, people forget that part. In the beginning, which was him, was the word, which was him. And the word was God, and the word was with God. So he just said, I am everything that is said, good and bad. But see, the thing is, I'll make your gut bad into good because it's supposed to have been in my direction. If, if I'm the foundational word, I can make your life. If you die in sin or you die on, on in God, I knew it and I spoke it before existence, before you even came here. Because my word never changes. Even if I say you're supposed to be in heaven or your, your destiny is to be in heaven, you can change the choice of it. But that was what the word was. And my word never go back void to me. That's why I said even then, I, this is God saying it through me right now. I don't know why I'm saying I, but God said, for my mercy endures forever. People forget that part. They just think they can't get back to God, but God said, my mercy, even uh, uh, during death to the point where you're about to die, my mercy endures forever. If you can believe past the point of death right now, you can always have mercy in your heart because my mercy endures forever. The flesh doesn't, but my mercy do. But people forget that point. They forget it. And that's the point that I'm trying to make, is that his mercy endures forever. See, when you make me mad or somebody make me mad just saying, or somebody cut me off in traffic and stuff, if I continue to let that thought interrupt my process of my thought, it stems up to other thoughts because it's a seed for other seeds. So all my life I'm going getting mad because of why one year ago somebody cut me off in traffic. Don't even recognize it because a forever thought is what the enemy wants. He don't want your down. <laughs> you know what I mean? He wants your forever. Matter of fact, your now is forever if you think about it like that. Because now never dies. Amen. On the quest. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, tomorrow. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, so um, man, God is good. I've been always been making music, but I never was able to be stable in my life. This is my first time being out of the hospital about eight or nine months. Um, so God has kind of sped up things, processes, and whatever like that. And uh, I got music that I might kind of uh, intercede on a on a, a CD as far as the next release of the CD uh, called "The Conviction." And um, it's an on time, in season word Be fitting for this realm What we go through um, At first the album was called the, the Invention Which I'm going to bring back after the third part CD But there's a conviction that needs to be In everybody's hearts right now And so God changes I kid you not, before this Corona even came out in America God told me, change the title And I've been working with this CD You know, because uh, Shayla Tay is on my CD um, which has a beautiful voice She's on Real Spit One of my songs that I'm going to uh, Really harp on Trying to get it onto the radio And uh, Black King um, To which she has her own album too uh, uh, A couple of three or four But the thing about the whole situation Is that I know now That the conviction is what I need When you convicted Truly convicted You know that hell is not too far from your door If you go back on the other side Which is in belief systems Which is what you who you hang with what do you do? Who are you trying to become? Are you thinking you're God, the control? I was convicted. And so it's called The Conviction Part 1. Um, it's a 12-track CD, a couple of skits and preaching going on. And I release it on tomorrow. 
uh, which is 31st of March, uh, 2020. Yeah, Tuesday, and you know, uh, I just, I just, I just, I'm not gonna even pray that the album do good because it's God. It's all God, man. I make, I make music for God. I don't make it for nobody else. I mean, if they, if people like it or love it, they will probably have the spirit of God or will have the spirit of God. But uh, I believe it's gonna hit the land. It already did before I was existed. So I, I, this, I'm just actually in history right now, just kind of like writing it down. But I'm just making my mark. You know, God said the book of life. What is the book of life? This is the book of life. This is the book of life. And if you put your name, if you put your name down or mark your name down with positive for God, you're saved from from the extinction of human beings. Let's put it like that. He's just trying to save us from ex extinction. But if there's no love in our heart, no conviction, then we're just like the animals that see a, a dog, see a girl animal. He just humping her right in front of everybody because there's no love there. It's just lust or a dog behind the gate yelling at another dog. We might as well just say we don't know what the next life will be. We'll probably be pets because there's no love in us. There's no word in us. And God said even on the end of days, he was going to take his spirit away. And his, guess what his spirit is? Holy Spirit is full of what? Love. So if we don't have love, then we already mixed the rapture. So people are talking about losing and stuff. God trying to save you from extinction. He don't need the whole world to save the world. Just one person like Jesus Christ or somebody to give awareness like Martin Luther King. You know, it's not the whole world. It's you that the devil wants. Your soul. So if he can take your word and make you fear, make you talk wrong, make you think wrong, make you think that you got the corona when you feel things in your body that came from the entities. Yeah, they tap on you and make you feel like it. But if you don't confess to it, I put it like this. God forbid, but I'd rather die with corona than a dying fear of it. You get what I'm saying? Let me repeat that. I'd rather die from corona than a die fearing it. I you see the fear is where the power is. We're in flesh right now. This is a disease. But I'd rather die, not really in the flesh, but die knowing that I, I'm dead in the flesh by not fearing it or letting it run my life. And then you got a lot of Christians right here, even artists that's talking about, well, you know, I'm just going to protect myself from Rona and I'm going to wear a mask and gloves. See, the thing about it, I'm not telling you not to use wisdom, but the world's wisdom is nothing. I say, I say more or less, they're giving out more Corona than Corona. They're spreading more Corona than Corona. Talk about God is coming back, saving. Oh, you better get saved now. We've been saying that, preaching that same message. You think that's going to get people saved? No, it's your actions behind it. It don't have to do with the world. You feel what I'm saying? This don't have to do with the rapture. This is just some guy trying to wear it because it can't happen. Anytime. He didn't say, even the son of man don't know the time. So just because you mean to tell me a corona, we feeling like the world going in, be real with me. We just need to expose the enemy like he doing the governments, the Illuminati, the Masonic uh, Lodge, all these old other plantation workers or, or leaders. We need, to, we need to take down slave masters and stop repeating history before we all be slaves again. That's what God is doing. So he's exposing them. They think they winning, but what God is doing is he's tearing them down so that his body will rise up. And guess what? The rapture of love, like Anita Baker said, the rapture of love will come. And then all the humans will be united again. And it'll be like it was way back then when it was just love on the radio. Love. That's what we missing. You got kids, they'll play a kid with a backward cross talking about, I can't feel my face and I want to shoot you, but they won't put Tasha Cobbs on the radio. Why is that? Why is that? Because the governments, the powers that be right now, which I come against right now in the spirit, is taking, trying to take this realm. But see, we win. Kirk Franklin was doing a good job of, of taking them around to another dimension where the earth and everything was basically in another zone when Kirk was around back in the days when he brought over the rap scene and, 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 and you know, hip hop type situation, R&B to gospel, but something happened, I don't know, but it kind of just messed us kind of up. I don't know if it was him or anybody, but we need to bring that love back. And that's what God wants. He's coming for a church by the spot of wrinkle. What's his, what's his church? His body. What's his body? We are his body. If if we talking about resurrection, he he came back to he came he he came alive. What is his him being alive? Us. We are the body of him. Thank you. Amen. Bars. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking a real spit. Uh, I have a real spit 
song featuring Shayla Tay Soul right here. Um, well, also, you need to check out Tuesday's Truth. Uh, God is uh, elevating her. Very positive influence in my life. See me through a lot of situations. And uh, I just thank God for her life. I'm going to do a real spit, though. She's on, on this one. It goes. Um, um, well, let me, let me go to something else because basically that music is needed for that one. I'm sorry about it because I don't I don't remember how it starts and you have to start it off right to in order for it to be ready. But I'm gonna do one that's called a uh, sacrifice. You say you want everything. All the fame, all the praise, all the bling. But you need to realize a nightmare is still considered a dream. My time flying used to trying to find wings. Stop looking back. You can find them on your knees. Spiritually in God you can see. Beyond death and eternity. Don't let life just pass you by. Because death follows right behind. It tried to take you out so he enters in So when your name said they gotta mention him Such a cool way to get hurt They said you was nothing you became that word Now your fans they cry at your show And your autograph is on your headstone The true self set you free So here's the truth it's gonna cost you a fee To stay rooted and grounded in freedom to stay rooted and grounded in freedom You gotta sacrifice your life to gain some You gotta sacrifice your life to gain some God set you more than the conqueror But you gotta learn how to conquer earth This earth Sacrifice Some people try so hard to get ahead And forget about the one that's on their neck Think it from the heart, but it's corrupt. And to use it the right way, you got to give it up. They on mind keeping them down. In the pit where pity is found. Stop feeling bad for yourself and make a difference. Make a change for the best time for the vision. Take out what needs not be. The negative try to add defeat. But in God, you more than the conqueror. So add him to your life and watch the answer work. No other but Christ made it possible. To walk over the problems that made you trip before. To get ahead, you got to get back. And let God be the head, like a scout. The true self sets you free. The true self sets you free. So here's the truth. It's going to cost you a fee. To tell the truth, it's going to cost you a fee. To stay rooted and grounded in freedom. You got to sacrifice your life to gain some. God set you more than the conqueror. But you got to learn how to conquer this earth. To get ahead, you got to give up everything you want and serve Jesus. You can beat all things in the king. All things you can see and unseen. You can see beyond this life and die now while you're still alive. <laughs> in Christ, you can find yourself. Because who you are lives beyond death. When you die, where will you go? If you say heaven, make sure you know. Stop being about the trend and the institutions and everything that's trying to keep you abusing. He got everything you can ever want. And God, you got to ask and it's done. He's trying to show you what you truly mean. The definition of your life and your dreams. The true self sets you free. That's it. Not the ID card, not the identity card, the number of man. That's the number of man, your identity. That's not who you are. 666, the mark of the beast is the number of man. Don't go by your, your ID card, because that's how they look at you. You're not your face. You're not your flesh. You're more like water. Your spirit is more like water. So get to know you, and then you get to know who you're not. 
Amen. On the quest. Oh yeah, and uh, check me out if I can say. On the quest. O n d e q u e s t. O n d e q u e s t. I'll be on Reverb Nation as of tomorrow. I'll be on uh, a lot of other websites, guys. Guys, be YouTube. Uh, I'll be shooting a couple of music videos for this album. Probably three of them. Uh, all beats made by me. YouTube, uh, SoundCloud. Uh, for y'all that don't know how to spell it, it's okay. Y o u t u b e dot c o m and SoundCloud s o u n d c l o u d dot com. SoundCloud all together for those that's older that don't use it. Uh, and my name is O N D E Q U E S T. You can actually reach me too at five six two two seven six. 5003 again it's 562-276-5003 I rock parties I do backyard boogies when we start having them again I do in house uh, parties or whatever y'all want to do for the church whatever, whatever you got going on weddings and all that my dad DJs um, you know, we'll come together, put some, put a package together, whatever. It's not all about the money; it's about the soul. So, if you want to win the souls, contact with me. My album also is dropping tomorrow uh, at 12 a.m. In fact, which is the morning time, uh, this this night, tomorrow, tonight, tomorrow, <laughs> 12 a.m. It's called the Conviction uh, Part One. So, I will be putting it off. I'm on uh, Facebook and I'm on. Uh, Twitter, I'm on Instagram, look for Isaiah Sanders, and uh, yeah, we rocking, on the quest. All that, all that, a lot of that, yes man. Well, I would like to uh, bring on a um, situation where salvation is basically where it's at. So it wouldn't be right for me to talk all about myself and not talk about salvation. Um, being saved does not mean that you're just saying words at the altar and you're saved. It's about seeing your way through and seeing your way on salvation because what is it good me saying I'm saved but then I go back into the same slump or, or the same water and drown? It's talking about I'm, I'm saved. The thing is, God said he who endures to the end will be saved. So we have to see our ending now. So I would like for you, if you came to the end of yourself and you go into a, a corona crisis or, you know, people that died, you can raise them from the grave. But you got to actually truly believe that. But you got to believe that you can be saved. So, um... You know, first I would like to see God sees your tomorrow and he sees your future and it look great, regardless of what they say. Um, if you can see that far and if you want to see farther, if you can't, I would like you to repeat the salvation prayer with me. And um, I'll say it to the best of my ability if I say something that needs to be said or something. Somebody come in. I'm not perfect at this, but everybody just bow your head with me. Uh, even if you are saved and you just want to be a re reassured that you are, just say this with me. Say, Dear Heavenly Father, um, I believe that Jesus Christ is your only begotten son and that he was born to set to help save humanity. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying on the cross for my sins and being raised from the dead on the third day. And Lord Jesus, I thank you for being the body. I thank you for being the life. I thank you for being the decision. And I also thank you for taking back the keys of death. Please come into my heart and resurrect me and even my family. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving my life and coming into my heart. Help me find a Bible. Help me go to a good church of your desire. And Lord, thank you for being the greater in me than he that's in the world. Thank you into heaven. Amen. If you said that prayer, you are saved right now. Please believe God is looking at you and you are to just give the word of God. Relationship over religion. Thank God, man. Thank you for interviewing me.
For sure. Appreciate you. Amen. All glory to God. All glory to God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yep. Amen. 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 Amen.